right, we're taking the advantage of having this boat out of the water at the moment of the yard to show you some of the things that I'm finding in modern boat building. Now, well, there's boat building, there's boat building these days. So if I was taking delivery of something like a, let's say, Riviera, um, in that I'd probably have a gel coat coat or I'd actually have some gel coat that was used with that product because um, most reputable builders will follow the one gel coat um, uh, product all the way through the build so everything matches now what can happen is you can have things added to a hull like this for a, sec for a section is a spray deflector it's like a chine but it's not really an active chine on the boat the chine angle should be about here but because this boat and the shape of its hull is uh, it's flared but it's not aggressively flared enough I think in the sea trial they would have found that this boat was throwing water right up its hull into these sort of into these porthole areas so they've whacked this on as a bit of a spray deflector as a shine to throw water down but because this boat was made in a single mold not a split mold this would have had to have been added on and glassed on at a later date now i can see down the side of this boat's quite wibbly quite wobbly um maybe pulled out of the mold too early maybe just not the better a, 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 a true shape mold to start with but what I'm noticing here, which is hard for you to pick up on the camera, are these two very different colours of gel coat. And I've known this particular vessel since it was brought here new. Now, I couldn't see this to start with because the colours kind of matched. But as we're getting on and the boat's getting a little bit older and it's getting a bit, and it started, the gel coats are starting to fade, these var variables in the, in the um, colour, or well, lack of colour match, is starting to become more and more prominent. You can see them coming through here. You can see there's a quite a clear line here that goes around this area here where they've glassed this on, this um, uh, clamshell water outlet. And then there's around here and then up to the bow here, there's another fade line there. And so we've got one, two, three different colors of gel coat. And then we come around here, because this would have been the in mold gel coat on the hull here. Yep. And this is all what they've done to try and match it all in when they've... I don't know why there's been so much glassing going on here. Um, maybe that failed in mould and they had to repair that. But you can see here again, there's this faint line and it's becoming more and more prominent. Now this is just at the front of the boat where I'm prepared to show you because I'm not going to show you too much of this boat. So people have bought these boats and I'm not going to... Um, name names and shame brands because people have got these boats and I don't want them to have their boat devalued because of you know substandard workmanship from the factory but this is what we're looking at this is what I'm finding more and more and more and more of that people are getting not what they pay for because they're paying good money for these boats but these boats are built to a price but the people in the middle are still making the same amount of, well, close to the same amount of money as a locally built boat or a better built boat and still being able to undercut the better built boat. So you kind of weigh up the maths on that and you go, this is what you end up with. You end up with this sort of, sort of substandard finish. And to me, this is substandard. Okay, it's not, it's cosmetic, but when you go to sell a boat like this, if you've owned this boat for five, 10 years, this is gonna get worse you're gonna end up with this boat that just looks patchworky and it's gonna look here. I could show you the side of the cabin, but if I showed you that side, I'd be giving away the make and model of this boat. But the side of the cabin is just atrocious. Like this is really faint compared to what the side of the cabin looks like. And this boat is out for insurance work, but the owner has told the boat builder to respray the whole sides of the cabin because it just looks horrible. And it's a fairly new boat. This is a 2021, 2021? Yeah, 2021 model boat. And already we've got fade out to this point where we've got three different tones of gel coat. And it's just, you know, it's just substandard. All right, happy boating, bye for now.